Thank you very much, Chief. I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Attorney General Letisa James. Oh, come on, we're in a house of God. <laughs> First, um, simmer down. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting it out of your system. First, I want to recognize Reverend A.R. Bernard in his absence. I want to recognize Monsignor Jamie. I want to recognize my pastor, Reverend Anthony L. Trufant of Emmanuel Baptist Church. <laughs> I want to congratulate all of the individuals who are being promoted today. I want to thank them for all that they are doing. I want to thank them for going into danger when others run out. I want to thank the, all of the fire marshals who are being promoted today. I want to thank you. You have worked with me as a member of the city council investigating a number of fires in central Brooklyn, and I thank you. I want to thank all of the members of EMS, particularly during these challenging times as you deal with individuals who are struggling with mental illness. And I have seen you all throughout the city of the city of New York in resolving a lot of those issues. And so I thank you for all of that. And I thank all of the members and I congratulate the family members who are here today to witness uh, the promotion of their loved ones. And it also is an honor and a privilege to be here today as we swear in Reverend Pam Holmes Saxton as chaplain of the FDNY. I want to thank Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief Hodgins for that recognition. And today's, today we are making history swearing in our first African-American woman chaplain of FDNY. As someone who has known Reverend, Reverend Holmes Sexton for years, Saxton for years, I'm proud to be here with her. You see, Pam Holmes Saxton is a member of my church, Emmanuel Baptist Church, and I'm proud to be with her. But I know that she is not alone. I see countless number of members of Emmanuel Baptist Church who are here. Uh, Thank you for being here and also members of who, members who are uniformed chiefs and captains and EMS lieutenants and fire protection inspectors and those within the civilian ranks. Because today we are witnessing the shattering of a glass ceiling, the setting of a milestone, a chipping away, obviously, of an invisible barrier. I've known Pam and her dedication to FDNY including serving as director of the EMS FDNY Help Fund. She has a stellar reputation as a director, a manager, an organizer, and most importantly, a woman of God. And Reverend Holmes Saxton, the FDNY, and all New Yorkers have a leader with proven excellence in executing her pastoral duties, but also a history of involvement and working for positive change and progress in the community. She is humbled. She is focused. She is respectful. She has the skills and character to serve as a dynamic chaplain for the FDNY now and in the future. And so I say to Pam to pray for the bravest. Pray for those men and women who exemplify true courage. Pray for those who have put their lives on the line. Pray for those every time that the fire siren rings, they spring to action. Pray for those firefighters who stood with me when my mother was dying and they worked on her for an hour in my house, not knowing who I was. And I thank them. I thank those members of FDNY who worked on her body and prayed over her body when she died. Some may even be here. Some might even be booing me, but nonetheless, I pray for them. I pray. 
pray for their strength. I pray for their love. And I also pray, Pam, please pray. Pray for all of those who are still suffering from the 9-11 illnesses. Pray for over them each and every day. I thank you and I congratulate you. It truly is really a testament to your leadership as a pastor and a public servant that you would attract such a large and diverse crowd. I look forward to your many years of service to our city and as to members of the FDNY, I congratulate all of you and look forward to working and serving with you all. God bless you and thank you.